how to create a MailChimp newsletter. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can create your own MailChimp newsletter. So let's get into it. Now, the first thing you're going to have to do is you're going to go on to MailChimp.com and over here, you're going to just click on login or sign up for free. And you're just gonna click on sign up for free if you're just starting out with MailChimp and you just have to fill in this information. So I'm just going to log on to my MailChimp account that I already have. And it's a very simple sign up process all you need to do is add your email address and we're just going to log in over here and once i have logged in i just have to verify my login so i'm just going to add the email verification i'm just going to do that and you don't actually have to verify every time after you've logged in after a long time it might ask you for your verification device verification and we're just going to do that and now you can see this is going to be your mailchimp dashboard so you can see on your dashboard first off this is going to be your home page and on your home page you have your web performance you have your overall review of what's happening in your mailchimp account then on your left you have your audience which is your contacts you have your campaigns you have your automations website content studios and integration now what we're going to be doing is we're going to be creating a newsletter using mailchimp so a newsletter could be of any kind of sort it could be a um fashion update like it could be a monthly newsletter a weekly newsletter a update newsletter a um quarterly review newsletter whatever kind of newsletter you're looking to create you can follow this simple kind of template format to get started with a basic newsletter now to get started all you have to do is click on create over here and now you're going to choose regular email you're going to click on design email basically and then you're going to design your email slash newsletter in however way you want it now first off what you're going to do is you're going to add like it, the most important part of any newsletter is the actual email design so the two from and subject section you can leave it empty for now and then later on when you're actually sending it to your audience you can select the people that you want to send this to but before that you're just going to click on design email and you can begin the more long like it's like the longer part of designing your newsletter which is going to be designing your actual design and you know filling out all the information and so on and so forth now over here this is the mailchimp newsletter design section where you can choose one of these layouts to get started or you can click on themes over here and you can see there are quite a few different kind of themes that are available for you to get started with MailChimp and then you also have your saved templates if you have any previous templates or you can even code your own kind of newsletter now I recommend using one of the themes to get started or you can click on the layouts and use one of the layouts to design your newsletter now I'm going to click on themes and what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to use this theme over here and I'm going to create a autumn fashion newsletter so once you click on the template this is going to load up the template editor and on the left you have your template preview and on your left you have your editing blocks over here so what we're going to do is whatever you want to edit it's just a very intuitive click and edit kind of formula so i wanted to remove this so i'm just going to click on this i'm going to click on the delete section and i'm going to click on delete and now i have just deleted this instead i want to add a text block so i'm just going to drag and drop it over here and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to edit the text from the right side over here. And this is just going to say autumn fashion newsletter like this. And I want to make this bold. So I'm just going to make it bold over here. And maybe I want it underlined or no. And maybe if you want to add images, you can add those as well. And I want to change the color like so. And just like that, I have added the first kind of edit to my template. Now, after that, maybe I want to change the background instead of these autumn leaves. I can just click on the image over here. And now I can upload my own file. I obviously don't have any, so I'm going to leave it at that. And then I'm going to begin editing my next section. So uh, let's say I have all of these sections. And maybe I want to delete these sections over here. So what I'm just going to do is I'm going to click on delete and delete these content blocks over here like so if there is anything in the template that you don't want you're just going to delete it just by hovering your mouse over the section you don't want and just click on the delete icon and then we're just going to delete all the sections we don't want and i'm going to keep like the bottom section and you can edit the information over here and what you're going to do is let's say i want to instead of this kind of text i'm going to delete this and what i want to do is i want to click on the text over here and I want to create an image plus text section like this and what I want to do is I'm just going to use the creative assistant to get a 
image or I'm just going to click on upload an image and I'm just going to explore some of the assets that are available and I'm just going to use one any stock image that I can find and I'm going to add images plus text onto my newsletter design so we're just going to wait for this to load up and I'm just going to click on upload and I'm just going to go into my downloads and use this image and you can upload whatever images you have so after that I have my bottom text and I can start adding this so the new autumn colors etc etc whatever it might be you can add this however you want it you can add whatever kind of text you want and once you have done that what you're going to do is if you want a specific link so uh, if you want to add a link to purchase your items what you're going to do is i'm just going to save and continue this and i'm going to click on this section i'm going to click on edit or if you want to do this from the start i'm going to show you guys how just delete this i'm going to delete like all the text excess text and i'm going to show you guys how to add your purchase button so what you're just going to do is you're going to go into your block section and what you can do is click on button over here scroll down and maybe i want to add the button right below here i'm just going to scroll this and put it over here drag and drop and add it like so like over here and once i have added this block what i'm going to do is uh, add it in caps and then it should be a link to the web address and then you're going to paste your web address so uh, i'm just going to copy and paste this web address so it's just a simple web address that is going to be opened up I'm just going to copy and paste MailChimp. You're going to obviously add your own store address over here. You're not going to add this uh, instead. You're just going to add your own store address and you're just going to save. And just like that, your newsletter is ready. Then you can just click on continue over here and save this as a template. You can later on go back and edit it later on. And then you can set it to your recipients. Or for that, you're just going to click on choose an audience. And then you can choose whatever kind of audience that you want. And then obviously it's going to send it from the MailChimp email that you're using. And the subject could be uh, the newsletter title. So this is the autumn fashion newsletter. And that is what I would add as the subject of my newsletter campaign. So that is how simple and easy it is for you to create your own newsletter using MailChimp. And it gets the job done, which is the most essential part of any email campaign it's to just convey the message in the accurate form so uh mailchimp although is a great application i don't recommend it for most email marketing campaigns because it can be pretty costly to run email marketing on mailchimp although it does have a free version if you go up to 1500 contacts or more than 1500 then you have to pay for at least their essentials version and when i take a look at the features at mailchimp they are not as up to mark as other features of other email marketing marketing campaigns like SendGrid or Send in Blue because they provide you a lot more features and a lot more content density in comparison to MailChimp but I still do think that MailChimp gets the job done and if you have under 1500 contacts then using MailChimp to send out your newsletters or manage your email marketing is going to be good enough for you but if you do exceed the 1500 mark and if you need more features and more integrations in your email marketing campaign then definitely do check out other alternatives to MailChimp like SendBlue. So make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the YouTube channel. And if you have any questions regarding MailChimp or how to create your MailChimp newsletter, leave them in the comment box down below and I will make sure to answer them. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe and like this YouTube video and I will catch you guys in the next video.